this became my home. Ah, that familiar sound tells us it's showtime. Pretty trouble with Vinny and tells the workers in our way. It helps a little. My name is Welcome, everyone. All right, first I'm going to apologize. Uh, our meeting's going to run a little bit quick here. Uh, I've got the, the opportunity and honor to give the blessing uh, at a uh, Reagan Day dinner at 6 o'clock um, uh, out at the Allegon Shrine here. So I apologize for going a little bit too fast. Uh, if this is your first meeting here and you'd like to see it go at the regular pace, and have all the goodies that are in our regular meeting, um, I welcome you back to come back and see it at another time. So uh, anyhow, gentlemen, are there any additions or deletions to our agenda? There is, sir. What might that be? That would be item 1A, a road closing hearing. OK. Uh, I'd like to entertain a motion uh, to add that to our agenda. So move. And second. It's been moved by Commissioner Valentine, seconded by Commissioner Brody, to add a road closing uh, to our agenda. Okay. Gentlemen, I'd like to entertain a motion to approve the minutes of our May 3rd, 2012 public business meeting. So moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Brody, seconded by Commissioner Valentine. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. The report of the president and presentations are all going to be all rolled into one. I uh, happen to be at the Winter Mako, and at the Winter Mako, you develop friendships with other co uh, commissioners from different counties. And I had uh, one of the commissioners from Washington County Board of County Commissioners come up to me <clears throat> and tell me how so much she was moved by these students from Allegheny High School that I had to witness firsthand, uh, I have a name. She just gushed and gushed and gushed with praise that these high school students uh, had the talent, had the ability to speak the truth, and she was very, very impressed. <clears throat> I said to Commissioner Ruth Ann Callahan, please send me an email about it, if you would, please. Uh, so that I would remember to talk to these students and maybe have them come to a commissioner's meeting. She then sent me, hello Mike, attached is the page out of the performance booklet for the indoor percussion. As I was telling you, the Allegheny High School team was a phenomenal and had a great message for the times. Far and above, that is just high school students. Best regards, Ruth Ann. She sent me it, we read it, and we thought it would be a great idea to share it with our constituents how great this is. The Allegheny Indoor Percussion recently won first place at the 2012 KIDA Indoor Championship in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Their 2012 production was entitled, I Have a Name. This depicts the struggles and attitudes toward homeless people in an attempt to illustrate that they are real people with real life stories. I hope you had an opportunity to enjoy the seven minute award winning performance before our meeting. Now the county commissioners invite Mr. Jackson, the indoor percussion students and staff members to join us here. The Allegheny County Commissioners uh, wish to acknowledge Captains Michael Deal, Darton Geis, Grice, and the seniors, juniors, sophomores, and the freshmen who comprise Allegheny Indoor per per Percussion 2012. Indoor Percussion staff members are Blair Glass, Reed Smith, Teresa Weeks, Mark Weeks, and Rhonda Sisler. Can we have you all come up, please? Oh, 
like to come on up here. We're going to, so many of you will have to do a couple rows. governmental official citation. Be it here known to all that the Board of Commissioners highly commends the Allegheny Indoor Percussion 2012 I Have a Name. First place, KIDA Indoor Championships, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Larry T. Jackson, Director of Bands, dated May 10th, 2012, and signed by all three county commissioners. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate you being excellent ambassadors for Allegheny County, and it ripples out, as you well can find out from the other commissioners that noted it, down at the winter makeup. Thank you very much. Bye. Back row, Redhead, now beside you, I want you to come over beside the flag. Redhead, you stay where you are. <laughs> All right, he's looking right here. Good. We'll take two. They're real small here. I don't know how big this is going to work. Thank you. Perfect. And I understand, Mr. Jacks. Oh, we've got some more pictures. I need one just to have a presentation. Okay. I'll let you do that. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I understand Mr. Jackson is going to give a, a little bit of a talk. Oh, yeah. Um, if you'd like, if you all would like to have your seats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will keep my comments very brief. Uh, I know we're um, on a quick meeting tonight. First of all, I wanted to express my sincere gratitude to the county commissioners uh, for presenting this. Uh, and um, uh, and that's a very neat story um, because I do not know that uh, particular person. That's really, it just goes to show you it's a small world. Um, pretty neat. Uh, I would just like to uh, recognize, in addition to our captains, Michael Deal and Darton Greist, uh, some of the other members, and I don't know if they're all here tonight, but a lot of them are. Uh, if you uh, want to stand when I say your name, Shane McGraw, Gary Michael Hartman, Austin Hewig, Tyson Ott, Cheyenne Smith, Mallory Heinrich, Christine Schroeder, Eddie Rahani, Zach Sparber, Dustin Tippin, Dimitri Sendo, Caitlin Morton, Forrest Bierman, Brandon Burton, Alec Dietrich, Parmita Inkashapi, Garrett Posthumus, Susan Zoller, Cooper Winters, Garrett Spence, Brandy O'Rourke, Tyler Short, Dakota Bierman, Harrison Brem, and Emily Alderson. But forget anybody? Uh, again, thank you, and it would definitely uh, would like to throw out some sincere thanks to uh, the, the staff. They're the ones that really made this happen. I just uh, try to facilitate Blair Glass and Reed Smith and uh, Mark and Teresa and Rhonda. Uh, they do a fantastic job. We're very blessed to have great staff people to work with the percussion, the marching band, the uh, indoor color guard, uh, all the different groups that we have at the school. We're very proud to represent Allegheny High School in Allegheny County as we go about our travels. We, we take a lot of pride in that. So again, we, we thank you. And also to the uh, band parents that are here, a lot of them are here tonight. And without their support, none of this would happen. So again, thank you very much. Thank you again for being great at that. <laughs> okay. 
Gentlemen, um, first thing on our agenda is um, 1A, road closing. I understand that Mr. Kazari is here to... Uh... Good afternoon. Uh, I'm appearing on behalf of Toby Miller, James Miller, and Charles Miller for a closing of two unnamed alleys in Bowman's Edition. It's been advertised. This is the initial petition where we seek to open it. It's then referred to committee. You, you get back to me, and then we f come back again and close it. I guess I'll need to ask if there's anybody present who has uh, any opposition to that petition. It's been advertised, and I do have the certificate of advertisement you've already filed. So seeing none, I'd request that it be uh, submitted to the appropriate committees. We will take care of that. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Appreciate, Appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, item number two is a resolution number 12-6. This is for the <coughs> FY 2012 dash 2015 Cumberland Area Transportation Improvement Program. This is to authorize the county commissioners acting as the Metropolitan Planning Organization to adopt a resolution in, uh, endorsing the revised FYI 2012-2015 Transportation Program. I understand that Ms. Wigfield, our Transportation Planner, is here. Hi. Good Afternoon. Evening. Um, so the Transportation <coughs> Improvement Program for fiscal year 2012 through 2015 is a list of short-term transportation improvements scheduled in the Cumberland Metropolitan Planning Area um, and is updated annually and amended as needed. Uh, the Department of Transportation requested we make the following amendments. Uh, a one-time reallocation of uh, 55,640 Section 5307 funds for transit um, that go from transit operating assistance to transit capital assistance. What this means is the um, federal match for these funds went from 50% to 80% for this fiscal year, so it'll help the buses continue to run and help with the cost of fuel. Uh, the other changes are um, administrative modifications to reconcile the funds for FY 2012. Uh, for area-wide environmental projects, area-wide resurfacing and rehabilitation, and area-wide bridge replacement. I'm requesting that the Allegheny County Commissioners, acting as the Cumberland Area MPO, uh, amend the FY 2012-2015 Transportation Improvement Program. If you have any questions, just let me know. Sure. Gentlemen, I'd like to entertain a motion. So moved. And second. It's been moved by Commissioner Valentine and seconded by Commissioner Brody that we authorize the county commissioners acting as the Metropolitan Planning Organization adopt this resolution. Is there any discussion? Commissioner Brody? Aye. Commissioner Valentine? Aye. Commissioner McKay? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Item number three falls under the Department of Economic Development. This is a Sierra Hygiene Products LLC lease purchase agreement to authorize the county commissioners to approve a lease purchase agreement with Sierra Hygiene Products, LLC, and authorize the president to sign. I understand that Mr. Diaz, our director of economic development, is here. Good afternoon. Sir. I will be brief. Um, in 2007, Sierra Hygiene Products came to Allegheny County, located in the Frostburg Assembly Plant in the Frostburg Industrial Park, a 30,000 square foot building. Um, that was a five-year lease. Five years have passed, and they have asked to renew for an additional five years. That is um, what is in front of you tonight. Um, I did have a chance to visit with the company vice president last week. He was in town, as he does periodically, just to uh, stop in and check on the facility and the, and the production. And um, he was uh, regretful that he could not be here this week. Um, the company is based in Livermore, California, which is a Bay Area company. So his travels um, across the country occur frequently, but not frequently enough to allow him to come back again this week. However, um, <clears throat> um, earlier this week I did receive a, a short letter from John that he asked me to share with the commissioners, and okay. if you will allow me to uh, briefly, he just said, Hi, Matt. Sorry I will not be able to attend the commissioners' meeting for the signing of our lease. Please convey to the commissioners how pleased we are to extend our lease for another five years. We look forward to working with you. Tim and the rest of your department on expanding our business and doubling our workforce over the next five years. I want to also thank you and Tim and your staff for making the first five years such a success and, a, and being so business friendly. We at Sierra look forward to a long relationship with Allegheny County. 
Regards, John Peterson, Vice President of Operations, Sierra Hygiene Products, LLC. So with that, um, I ask the Commissioner's favorable approval on the new five-year lease. Okay. <coughs> Wonderful. Gentlemen, entertain the motion. So moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Brody and seconded by Commissioner Valentine that we authorize the lease purchase agreement uh, with Sierra Hygiene Products, uh, authorizing the President to sign. Commissioner Brody? Aye. Commissioner Valentine? Aye. Commissioner McKay? Aye. Motion carries. Matthew, would you, um, in uh, extend an invitation for the next time that he may be in town, that we might be able to do a commissioner's chat uh, taping, uh, spreading the good, work, good news about a company doubling their workforce. Absolutely. So, okay. Uh -huh. Since you're at the podium, sir, we're going to allow you to handle item number four. Gentlemen, this is an acceptance of priorities for the ARC funding for FY 2013. This is to authorize the county commissioners to approve the transmittal of the recommended priority list of the 13 area development projects to Tri-County Tri Council of Western Maryland for consideration of Appalachian Regional Commission funding in fiscal federal year 2013. Mr. Dias. Yes, sir. Um, briefly, uh, last week at the commissioner's work session at 3 o'clock, um, my colleague David Nedved and I presented to the commissioners a list of 13 projects, a prioritized list for consideration and submittal to the Tri-County Council for the upcoming federal fiscal year. Uh, there was some discussion at that point. Um, let a week pass to, for um, consideration of those requests, and uh, tonight we ask you to take uh, formal action on those on that priority list for submittal to the Tri County Council. And I will acknowledge Guy Winterberg, the Assistant Director of Tri County, is here tonight. Um, as you know, they're a, a great partner with us in terms of being uh, a conduit for federal funding, and uh, um, uh, they've done a lot of great great help here in Allegheny County through the years, so I ask for your favorable approval on those priorities. Certainly. Gentlemen, what is your pleasure? So move. Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Valentine and seconded by Commissioner Brody. Is there any discussion? Call for the question. Mr. Br uh, Commissioner Brody? Aye. Commissioner Valentine? Aye. Commissioner McKay? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. I don't know if you know, but behind Guy's last name are a couple letters. You know how you have doctors and lawyers and all. His is AAG, all around good guy. So well, I've known Guy for quite a few years, and I may be able to debate that with you, but, uh, but we'll, we'll save that for another time. Thank right. you. Item number five uh, resolution number 12 1. This is a submission of resolution of the Maryland. DHCD CB CDBG application for the Rawlings Water Project. This is to authorize the submission of the CDBG application for signature by the county commissioners. The resolution also authorizes the public works to advertise the project for bid when the engineering is complete. Mr. Commissioners, commissioners um, we are going to apply for CDBG funding for the Rawlings Water Project in the amount of 800000 But prior to doing that, two things have to happen. We have to have a required meeting, a required public meeting, which we did have last week, and it had to be advertised, which it was. And then in follow-up to that, we have to have a resolution passed by you gentlemen. And with that, then we can do the application, which the deadline for that is May 17th. Um, and then I'm going to refer to my colleague here, Mr. Yoder, and he can give some background on the project itself. He changed up on me. I saw him come across here. <laughs> I thought he went out down. there and he sat behind there. They so don't young change. looking, he looked just like the other students. So I thought I was in the band. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the things that, uh, uh, that had to be done was a was an income survey and as part of the income survey we checked with the residents to see if they were interested in the water in having county water run out to the area the first phase of the project affects uh, several uh, customers currently on wells there's about 75 44 of those were in favor and 19 were not so we did have the majority majority in favor uh, we have started engineering on the job uh, we're, we're doing that in-house uh, there'll be 
the easements will probably take a little while. There's, there's a lot of easements we have to get, but uh, we expect to probably be able to bid this thing late. I would say late fall. Uh, if we get into winter, we'll probably wait and do it in the spring, but probably on that time frame. Okay. Gentlemen, what is your pleasure for resolution number 12-1? Entertain a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Commissioner Brody and seconded by Commissioner Valentine. Gentlemen, any questions? No. Call for the question. Commissioner Brody. Aye. Commissioner Valentine. Aye. Commissioner McKay. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Commissioner. Okay, gentlemen. Uh, under County Administrator, item number six, development permitting authorization. This is to authorize the county commissioners to execute a letter of acknowledgement regarding the position of the Maryland Department of Natural Resources relative to the county's role in issuing necessary de development permits at Rocky Gap for Evitz Resort LLC. Mr. Everly. Commissioners, I have before you today a draft letter in response to uh, Assistant Secretary Saunders Evans' uh, request that Allegheny County take a, a role in assisting the state in administering development permits for Evitz LLC. If you'd like, I could read the letter into the record, or we could dispense with that. Um, if you would, please. All right. Thank I you. think it's important. Dear Assistant Secretary, Allegheny County is in receipt of your May 8th letter defining the limited role that DNR will play in the issuance of permits for the development of a gaming facility at Rocky Gap Resort. As previously discussed with the developer, county staff will augment and facilitate the regulatory process, offering both assistance and guidance to support the planned development. County staff will review and provide required certification of construction drawings and site development plans in conformance with local building codes, site development criteria, and required environmental reviews. Please be advised that the subject property is owned by the state of Maryland. Consistent with local public laws, Allegheny County acknowledges that it has no zoning or land use authority over the proposed development. Furthermore, the county also recognizes that it has no jurisdiction over the lands, buildings, structures, infrastructure, easements, right of ways, and utility assets owned by the state, existing or proposed within the confines of the state park. In closing, the county will employ its current clearinghouse program to support the regulatory process. This role will involve the coordination of review and or approval of all participating review agencies an inspection firm selected by the developer. Okay. Gentlemen, what is your pleasure? Entertain a motion to sign uh, this letter. So move. And second. It's been moved by Commissioner Valentine and seconded by Commissioner Brody. Is there any discussion? Uh, just one thing. I was in uh, communication with a representative of Lakes today, and they are on the schedule with Public Works for approval on June 20th. And the moment they get that approval, they intend to start work at Rock again. So Very good. Project's finally coming. All right. Gentlemen, we'll call for the question. Commissioner Brody. Aye. Commissioner Valentine. Aye. Commissioner McKay. Aye. Motion carries. Gentlemen, I'd like to uh, entertain a motion to accept our consent agenda as recommended by the county administrator. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Nope. Nope. Good. All right. Call for the question. Commissioner Brody. Aye. Commissioner Valentine. Aye. And Commissioner McKay. Aye. <laughs> okay. Um, Mr. Everly. Commissioners, um, earlier this week, uh, on Tuesday afternoon, the county accepted bids for the Braddock Run Sanitary Sewer Rehab Project, contract S71. We received two bids. Those bids were referred to the Department of Public Works for review and recommendations back to the Board of Commissioners. Okay. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Rudd. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. uh, commissioners, in, do, in, in lieu of uh, time constraints, I'd like to um, uh, refrain from any commissioner statements. Or recognition. Okay. So agree. No okay. comment. Okay. Perfect. Um, I believe that uh, we had a couple people that were interested in signing up. Um, I did talk to those constituents afterwards and asked them if they would uh, be okay with speaking at next meeting. 
They said that they would, and I appreciate everybody who was uh, willing to do that. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Remind everybody of our upcoming meeting. It's our next public business meeting. It will be May 17, 2012 at 5 o'clock in room 100. Our tentative budget workshop is May 17, 2012 at 3 o'clock in room 212. Um, please see the news release of the Allegheny County government schedule as well as the backyard uh, composter and rain barrel sale. Thank you everyone for participating in your government. Like I said, if you would like to see it, not necessarily in short form, and I appreciate your grace on that, come back next time or check us out on the web or the cable or YouTube. Thank you very much and congratulations to the Allegheny School. <coughs> you made us proud. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. I you get a key in place here to sign. I've got a bunch more here, Green. Help me out. Yes, ma'am. Whatever it says, sign here. Hey, Brada.